Psalm 109 Do not keep silent, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. In return for my love they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. Thus they have re rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has, and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him, nor let there be any to favor his fatherless children. <clears throat> let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Mm. Let them be continually before the Lord, that he may cut off their memory of them from the earth, because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. As he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment, so that it enter his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like the garment which covers him and for a belt with which he girds himself continually. Let this be the Lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person. But you, O God the Lord, deal with me for your name's sake because your mercy is good, deliver me, for I am poor and needy and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is feeble from lack of fatness. I also have become a reproach to them. When they look at me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. O oh, save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. Whenever they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own disgrace as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those who condemn him. Psalms 110 The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people shall be volunteers in the day of your power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. You have the dew of your youth. The Lord has sworn and will not re relent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He shall execute kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. He shall drink of the brook by the wayside. Therefore he shall lift up the head. Psalms 1, 11. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. 
he will ever be mindful of his covenant he has declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations the works of his hands are verity and justice all his precepts are sure they stand forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness he has set redemption to his people he has commanded his covenant forever holy and awesome is his name the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all those who do his commandments his praise endures forever Amen.